All right, it seems like I may have been wrong about the auto restart on these inverters. I mean, when I've seen an overload before, I thought it was more than five or 10 minutes, and I guess it wasn't. And my grow watts that I had before, they restarted really fast. And I contacted Signature Solar, and I guess, you know, maybe they were wrong too, because they thought it didn't have an auto restart. But we're gonna go ahead and test it out. We're gonna overload the whole system, and I'm gonna go start my car charging. And right now, let's see what we're pulling out. Right now, only about 6% coming out of my three inverters, you know, 4% kind of jumping around. So I'm gonna go start my car charging. Then after that, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna see how much it's pulling. Then I'm gonna go start my dryer and my oven. And if I have to, the water heater and both the air conditioners. And eventually this thing's gonna overload and we're gonna see, gonna put a timer on and see how long it takes to reset. All right, after plugging in the car, got about 28, 29% of the total output for the three inverters coming out. Let's go start some more stuff. All right, we're gonna go ahead and crank this AC down on this side to make sure this thing comes on. Bam, just heard it click on. Let's go start the other one. All right, got the second one. Let's go ahead and start this one. Go crank it down so it kicks on. Bam. That one's on. All right, right this second says I got 2,000 coming out. That was about a minute and a half ago. So it should update some more here in a minute, but we're gonna go ahead. I think the washing machine's already going on clean mode. Go ahead and start this dryer. So bam, dryer's going, washer's going. I think the hot water's going. All right, washer's going, dryer's going. And I think the hot water's going because I think the dryer, I mean, the washing machine is doing a cleaning mode. So let's go ahead and start the oven. All right, bam. Let's go ahead and crank this oven on. Put on 450 and start. So bam, the oven's on. Let's see if anything kicks out. And let's look on the app to see what we're pulling right now. All right, let's look on the app, start recording again. Bam, I'm going to start a record on the app again. Let's go ahead and update it. And right now on one of the inverters, I got 4,500 watts coming out. So I might have to start something else. Maybe I have to start running the hot water to make sure the hot water heater's on. See if we can get this power to kick out. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, over here at the sink. And to start the hot water running. Let's see how long it takes to kick out. Still got the app recording. I put it right here so you can kind of see what's going on. And basically I got 4,513 watts coming out right this second on that one inverter. Let's click on a different one. Got 5,200 coming out on a different one. And 5,500 coming out on another one. So it's definitely getting close to being maxed out. Hopefully we can get this thing to kick out here in a second. Or I might have to go turn my car up. It's not all the way up wattage wise. But once we get this water heater to kick on and start heating that water, it should definitely kick out with the dryer, the oven on. Maybe I need to kick some of the stove on. It might be easier. The stove tops, I can kick them on and try it. Let's do that. Definitely had some hot water come out there, but probably easier to get the stove tops and kick them on. My light's all, my light's all messed up. All right, we're gonna kick this, uh, couple of more of these burners on. Still running. Let's get the app up. I still got the app running. Still about the same. Let's see if we can get this thing to kick out. Oh, there it goes. Power is out. Let's start my timer. Five minutes. All right. Start a five minute timer. We're gonna see if it auto restarts. Let me go turn some of this stuff off. Can overload three EG4 18K inverters. And I guess we can go back out there to the inverter and see how long it takes to restart. I do have some battery powered lights out there. I got one battery powered light on me so you can actually see me. Let's look right on the inverters and see what's going on, you know, cause they're in the overload. So 28. They're unhappy, they got a fault code. 
as you can see right there, 28. Got a little uh, uh, warning. So the little, uh, got a frowny face, but it's not happy. So I get it to zoom in, right? And let's see if the thing restarts. Time-wise right now, I set a five minute timer, got two minutes and 25 seconds to go. And people are saying after five minutes, there's restart. So mine should be able to restart too. There's no setting that you can change. Pull out the watch. I mean, the uh, timer. Got a minute and, got a minute and 35 seconds to go. Bam, the power just came back on. So the auto restart did work. And it's been about a minute and 30 seconds. You know, got 30 some seconds left on the timer. So a little over four minutes. So everything restarted. I was totally wrong about this. Apparently I never waited five minutes for the thing to restart. And I guess when your power goes out, you know, you want to get the stuff going back right away. And I was thinking like the grow watts after a couple of minutes, it didn't restart. So I came out here and mainly restarted the inverters on my own and that power came back on. And then, so I contacted, you know, Signature Solar, my rep for Signature Solar. And I guess he, maybe he just didn't know either. And he thought that the thing was not a uh, restart. And he said it wasn't an option when it overloads, but they just restarted. So maybe what he was saying is there's not an option that you can select in the inverter but it actually just does it on its own and it's in the background. So, hey, that's just one more good thing that these inverters do, restart on their own, auto restart. And that was my biggest gripe with it so far is I thought it didn't restart. So now I'm more likely to just leave it on all the time, especially when I'm not gonna be at home because my family won't have to try to restart it, you know, because I had been turning it off some because I was worried about the stuff not being able to restart, you know, and my family not being able to run them. So now I'm pretty much gonna run them all the time and see what they can do, unless it's gonna be really, really cloudy days, then I'll run maybe half my house with this stuff and the rest with the grid. So if you're looking to get one of these inverters, I'll leave it linked up below. I'll leave my discount code linked up below. And remember, Signature Solar right now has free shipping on everything. So it don't matter what you buy, if you buy solar panels, an inverter, whatever you get, it don't matter if it's shipped on a pallet or just in a box, shipping is free. Now's the time to jump on some solar, since you can get free shipping, especially if you're gonna get uh, panels or something that's shipped on a pallet, I mean, that's a pretty good deal. You're gonna save like $300 or more, just depending on your location. So that's just one more thing that make me love these inverters. They're the best deal out there. You know, it's definitely probably the best selling inverter out there right now. I'm definitely gonna have to do more testing with this thing and try to run it when I have a good solar day, run the whole house without any batteries again. People wanted me to do some more testing on that. I have a lot of videos I need to put out, but hey, when you have to work a regular job and trying to do this stuff on the side, you know, you just do what you can. And when I have some more time off, I'm gonna make some more videos. Hey, and remember, if you like this kind of video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and thanks for watching.